Hi, Leo. Today we're going to do a weekly reading for you, and I'm doing it just a little bit different. I am going to get a general energy, a love energy, and a career and finances energy. And this first one is going to be the overall energy. Whoa! Okay then. Didn't foresee that happening. You have two. Okay, you have the hummingbird spirit, which is be here now. And the nightingale spirit, which is love is all around. Well, those are beautiful. Okay. That was quite the surprise. <laughs> I am, for this reading, I am not going to go into the book. I am taking just what it says pretty much at face value and then what I see in it. And so it'd be be her now, which is don't think so much about the past. Don't think so much about the future. You know, what was, what will be. Try to be in the present moment if you can. That's your overall energy along with love is all around, which is, like I said, absolutely beautiful. Okay. Let's take a few cards and see what they say. The first one is the Knight of Swords. Now I'm going to see if I can fit all of this in this space. I changed it around a little, so maybe we can. I'm hoping. Oh, this one wanted to fly out. It's Judgment. Stay up there, Nightingale. Nightingale. Okay, and one more. And also, if your birthday's coming up anytime soon, happy birthday. Hope it's wonderful. And the Hierophant. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about those energies. All right. The Knight of Swords. And this is for your overall energy. The Knight of Swords is a very fast moving energy and they are in a hurry to get everything done that they want to get done and they're sometimes in such a hurry that they can be led down the wrong path by accident or you know make a little mistake here or there because they're in such a big hurry so what you need to try to do is slow down just a little bit to make for sure that you're crossing all your T's and dotting all your I's. But now, on, you know, on the definite positive side is the Knight of Swords is a very good communicator. So there might be a need for that sometime this week. Okay, and then the next card is the Judgment card. And the judgment is about an awakening, a spiritual awakening. Kind of like how the picture presents this. It's time to rise up. You're experiencing a huge spiritual awakening. And you're realizing that you're destined for so much more. This is your cosmic up-leveling. Be ready to tune into a higher frequency. You know, that is really nice with the be here now. I can see how those two go together very well. As as well as the love is all around. And the Hierophant is about learning from a trusted source. Working with a mentor of some sort, a teacher. Some sort of an authority that is trusted. 
So if you put these three together, it's a fast moving energy and there's the spiritual side of things, the awakening, and then you're working with a teacher of some sort. And this could be, you know, on the spiritual side of things, since it's a spiritual awakening. The mentor could be your higher self. It could also be, a, you know, a person, but it could be your higher self. And it looks like you're kind of in a hurry to do this thing. Which is really a positive week. Especially with the two um, cards, the hummingbird and the nightingale. And you know what's also really interesting about that is they're both birds. Hmm. And there's a flower on both of the cards. Okay, well let's go on. Let's check out how love is doing. We are going to use the divine doors for that. Okay, we'll take this one. Inner power. It says, by your own command, you brought yourself here. At this moment in life, you have nothing to fear. Let's see if we get to stay up there. Okay. Let me think about this for a minute. Actually, I need to look at it. <laughs> I, can see, I can't see that far away. Well, this is really interesting. By your own command, you brought yourself here. Of course you did. And at this moment, you had nothing to fear. So that could be... Um... Well, let's take a few cards and see what they say before I make any comments. Whoops. Okay. Two of Pentacles. Balance. Choices. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to move this over here. So maybe I can see it better. Sorry about that. Hope you don't mind. Well, hold still, hold the card. Can, yeah, you can still see it. Okay. So we have the Two of Pentacles, which is balance, choices. We have the Ten of Wands, which is the end of... Of a heavy, heavy burden. Okay, and we have the Queen of Cups. That is a very nice card. The Two of Pentacles is trying to find balance. Yin, Yang, that sort of thing. And it's right next to the Ten of Wands, which is talking about you carrying a very heavy burden. And you're almost, you know, you can see a little town back here, or the outline of a town. You're almost there. But you're not quite there yet. And it's a very heavy load. And it is an ending. The Queen of Cups now that's a beautiful energy. She is like a mother. She's nurturing and loving and she really cares. You know, she her heart's involved. She is um, a wonderful energy to have. 
And I was looking at this card, and it says, By your own command, you brought yourself here. At this moment in life, you have nothing to fear. That made me think that there might be some sort of a problem. You don't have anything to fear is what it's saying, and I can believe that. But it still made me feel like there was a little bit of a problem somewhere. And I can see that in these cards. You're trying to find balance. You're carrying a very heavy burden. Too much so that it's going to create an ending of some sort. But then here you have a very loving, caring energy. So if in your love life there is a problem, potentially there is someone that you trust that is very loving and kind that you can talk to. If you are having a relationship problem, it's always nice to be able to talk to somebody to, you know, to help you see the forest for the trees, to help you figure it out. Um, but it says you have nothing to fear. So that would also make me think that you can work something out. Something needs to end. That doesn't necessarily mean a relationship, but it does mean something that's going on within the relationship. You're trying to find balance. So something is obviously not balanced with this card alone, plus that one. But this beautiful energy, if there is somebody to talk to that you trust, I probably would. And it's possible it is, you know, your higher self if you don't know of somebody. And if you are not in a relationship, I would say this might not be the best week to get into one. <laughs> you, you know, you're trying to put something down here that's a very heavy burden. And this has to do with love and relationships. So um, maybe you need to heal first. Okay? Let's go on and see about career and finances. And I drop two cards. Uh. Okay. Don't go away. I need to pick them up. Okay, Leo, when I shuffled these cards, two fell out onto the floor. They really wanted to come out. So, I really hadn't planned on two, but, you know, the universe does what the universe wants to do. And I say, okay. So... For finances and career, it's the dog spirit and the lizard spirit. And both of those are very good. And the dog spirit says, be loyal to what you love. And the lizard spirit says, dream the world into being. So they're beautiful. Seems like it's going to be a good week for career and finances. As long as you're being loyal to what it is you love. And I know sometimes that's a real challenge when you're working. A lot of people are working at jobs they aren't fond of, you know, for an income. Maybe it's something you're doing on the side. Okay, let's see. What we, oh, beautiful. Look at that. We have the world. And the world is a successful completion successful meaning yeah great so that also means you know the beginning of something new maybe this is your chance to start something whether it's full-time or on the side that you really love because of the dog spirit and the lizard spirit bring the world into being dream the world into being is yeah, both of those are great. You have some really good cards this week. Okay. Ah, you can't get any better. Look. Yeah, the sun. My fave. Beautiful. 
Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's get one more. Ah, uh, well, hmm. That's okay. It's right next to the sun. You have the Five of Pentacles. But it's right next to the sun, so it's all good. Alrighty. Set those down. Let's talk about this for a minute. Okay. The world, like I said, is a successful completion and on to the next thing. Here you have the sun, which is the best card in the deck. It's like shine your light. Everything is abundant in a wonderful, wonderful way. You know, if you can dream it, you could have it kind of energy, which goes right along with that lizard spirit. And now here's the only problematic card and that is the five of pentacles and what that is saying is that you're feeling left out in the cold you know maybe like you're alone um but since this is a financial side career side it would mean that you feel like you don't have enough money enough pentacles but now you see right here that is a stained glass window, most likely from like a church, cathedral, something like that. And what that's saying is you have help right there. You don't see it because you're very busy, you know, worrying, thinking about what's going on in your life. But if you can just turn around and look, you will see that right there is help for you. But... It's right next to the sun. So this is probably just thoughts that you're going through. And I, I don't mean to minimize that. Thoughts are huge. That's why we do just about everything we do is because we think it into being. But look at the rest of the financial section and career section. You know, be loyal to what you love. Dream your world into being successful completion so that means a new beginning and you have the sun can't get any better than that and if you'll notice that this five of pentacles and the sun are looking at the world and that's almost as if to say okay we've completed this cycle it might have started out kind of rough but it's wonderful and now on to something new which could be be loyal to what you love. All right? So, let's see if the universe has anything they would like to add to this. Well, well, one just fell out. What's that? Queen of Cups. You've got it twice now. This one wants to come out too. Boy, they're wanting to come out. Oh, look at that. The King of Cups. Ah, beautiful. You know, the Queen and the King of Cups. Well, okay. Let's get one more. Uh huh. And you have the Queen of Wands. Okay. You have really gorgeous cards here, other than just that one well and that one but the way i see this it is a very heavy burden you need to let it go you need to drop it it is an ending okay but on the blessing side of this is when you have an ending you end up with a new beginning right so this is a relationship side but they still all you know, work together. So, it's an ending. But it probably needs to change. That's why it feels so heavy. This is probably your thoughts. Or you might have gone through a time where there were some financial difficulties. But after that came the sun. So, good 
completion, successful completion, new beginning. And you have these three, which are beautiful. Like I said over here already, well, actually, okay, first, when you get two of the same card, that's the universe's way of saying, I meant what I said. Okay? You have somebody very loving and nurturing in your life. Or possibly you are that person. And the King of Cups, he feels his emotions. But he is in control of them. He does not let them control him. Okay, he feels them. But he doesn't let them rule his life. Which is a huge deal, I think. I've gotten wrapped up in my emotions many a time, and sometimes it's a, ch a real challenge to uh, get a correct perspective. And now the Queen of Wands, she's a very busy, busy person, a social butterfly, making connections with others, and putting herself out there as she pursues her creative vision. You're confident, courageous, and determined. And you're unafraid to speak up and be heard. So this is wonderful. Because it might very well apply in the financial section as well as the love section. You know, you need to speak up and be heard. Be in control of your emotions. And also be nurturing and loving. But now, just for clarification... We'll take a card for the Five of Pentacles and one for the Ten of Wands. Okay, see what we get. Five Pentacles. Ah, a look. Okay, no big deal. That just got overridden. <laughs> okay, the Five of Pentacles is taken over by the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Cups is. One of the best cards in the deck, too. So, you have the sun on one side and the ten of cups right on top of it. The ten of cups means like an, the ultimate happiness for you and your loved ones, people you care about. It's just great happiness. Okay, and now we'll take one for the ten of wands. See what we get. One more. Okay, look, see? Another absolutely beautiful card. This is just a fantastic reading here that you have. Okay, they say that the star card is like a good omen. So, yay! Um, it's a powerful time for inspired action, channeled through your authentic self. So you got to be real. Be open to possibility and stay true to yourself. Have faith and trust in the universe. And you'll share in its gifts and blessings. Okay, here you have, in your overall energy, you have a huge spiritual awakening. All right? You're also learning. Well, here, you have this on top of this ending. And it's saying um, it's a powerful time for inspired action. So if there is a problem, you need to go ahead, take action, but be real about it. Be yourself. Be real. And be open to the possibilities. And a big one here is be true to yourself. Okay? If there is a problem, be real to you. All right? And if you haven't met anybody, like I said, you know, maybe to, this is a good week to take it off. It still might be. But because of this, maybe it's a time... Maybe these are thoughts. Maybe it's a time to get your thoughts in order about relationships and love. Just kind of kick that to the curb and go with the star. 
Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Let's take a charm and see what we get. Like I said, I don't look, so I don't know what's coming up. Oh, beautiful. Can you read it? It says, enjoy life. It's really a very nice reading this week. I hope you do have a great week. And I would love it if you would comment and let me know how your week went. And if you like this, please hit the like button. Subscribe, share, it will help the channel grow. And don't forget to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks so much. Love and light. Bye.